The US has passed all new student visa interviews. It is now checking social media accounts as part of the screening process. Officials are saying this is about controlling immigration, but with international students bringing in billions and driving research, is the US risking more than it gains? In this video, we use data to understand how these decisions could affect international students and the US itself. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Data Point. The USA's move to pass all new student visa interviews is just the latest in a series of moves by the Trump administration targeting international students and universities. Just a few days ago, the administration tried to stop Harvard from enrolling international students. Before that, several US universities were accused of fostering anti-Semitism. And earlier this year, thousands of student visas were revoked with no warning. Last year, the US hosted an all-time high of over 1.1 million international students. And more than half of them just came from India and China. But that trend may not last. In February 2025, the first month of Trump's second term, student visas issued to Indians dropped by 30% compared to the same time last year. And on May 28, Secretary of State Marco Rubio said the US would start aggressively revoking visas for Chinese students, especially those with links to the Communist Party or in critical fields. Now here's the problem with that. These are the very students who are powering US research and tech. In 2023, nearly 6,000 Chinese and over 2,500 Indian students earned research doctorates in science and engineering in the US. Students from both countries also made up the largest group applying for the STEM opt extension. This program lets them work in the US after graduation. And in the US workforce in 2023, Indians held the highest share of foreign-born jobs in science, engineering, and related fields. Across the board, international students make up a big part of enrollments in master's and PhD programs in science, engineering, and health. They are not just students, they are researchers, engineers, and even founders. A 2022 research paper found that $143 billion startups in the US were founded by people who first came to the country as international students. International students also accounted for a huge economic impact. According to NAVSA, international students contributed $43.8 billion to the US economy in 2023. That includes tuition, rent, food, and daily spending. It also supported lots of jobs across the country. While the administration pushes for tighter controls, it may end up shutting out the very people who drive American research, science, and entrepreneurship. This isn't just about who gets a visa. It's about whether the US wants to stay a global magnet for talent or give up that edge to countries that do. Thank you for watching this video and for more such videos, please subscribe to The Hindu.